Welcome. In this video, we would like to show you how to record a dictation with the Dictasonic Mic 2 Classic PC Microphone from Grundig Business Systems. We will also explain how to correct a dictation and how to insert a text passage. The Dictasonic Mic 2 Classic Control Elements. First, we would like to show you the individual buttons and switches on the device. The three upper function buttons are located above the slide switch. The left hand button with the blue spot is for the info or index button. The fast forward button is in the middle marked with a gray spot. The insert button is on the far right with the orange spot. Under the upper control buttons is the slide switch with four settings. It has four functions. Record, stop, play, as well as rewind. The three lower function buttons are located below the Dicta logo. These can be assigned a Windows or Dictation Control function of your choice. You can use the switch on the right hand side to set the microphone sensitivity and thus change the recording volume. The resistance of the slide switch can be adapted to individual needs using the supplied screwdriver. Turn the screwdriver counterclockwise to reduce the resistance felt when operating the slide switch. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to increase the resistance. Preparing the microphone. Before you begin your dictation, we recommend that you adapt the microphone to your requirements. You only need to make these settings once before your initial use. Switch your PC on and insert the USB plug of the Sonic Mic 2 into an appropriate port on the PC. Start the adapter server by right-clicking on the relevant icon in the notification area. Then go to Properties. The adapter server window opens. Now click on the USB HID tab. Here you can lock the microphone sensitivity switch on the device by checking the appropriate box. This function prevents accidental changes to the microphone sensitivity of the device. In the box on the right, you can set the device permanently to conference recording, noisy environment, or to just dictation recording. Let's select dictation in this example. You can also use the adapter server to assign actions, such as opening a program to the individual buttons and to the slide switch. We will explain in detail how to carry out various settings in another video about the voice recognition software Dragon Naturally Speaking. But first, click on OK. The adapter server is closed. You can start to dictate your text. Recording and Dictation. First, double click to call up your dictation software Dictasoft 1, Dictasoft, or Dictasoft Pro. We will use Dictasoft Pro in this example. Before you start recording, Make sure that the slide switch is in the stop position. Then press the function button with the blue dot. The red flashing LED tells you that your sonic mic is ready to record a dictation. The Dictasoft Pro record button also flashes. Move the slide switch from the stop position to the record position. The recording starts. You can tell that recording has started as the record LED is now lit up in red permanently. You can now dictate your text. In Dictasoft Pro, the microphone level and the recording time are shown. Move the slide switch to the stop position once you have dictated your text. Correcting a text passage. We would now like to show you how to correct a dictation. To record over a passage, first move the slide switch to the rewind position or press the fast forward button to reach the desired passage. The corresponding symbols in Dictasoft Pro react. Slide the slide switch to stop when you have found the passage where you would like to begin re-recording. Now move the slide switch to the record position. The record LED lights up in red. Then move the slide switch to the stop position to finish re-recording. Inserting a text passage. If you would like to add text to the dictation, first find the position where you would like to add something. Then move the slide switch to the stop position. Now press the insert button. The record LED flashes orange. Now move the slide switch to the record position and proceed with your addition. To finish adding text, move the slide switch to the stop position and then press the insert button. Ending the dictation. Close the dictation by pressing the button on the blue dot. A window now opens on your PC. Click dictating complete. You now see the Dictasoft Pro start window. Your dictation is saved by default in the My Dictations folder. 
You are now familiar with some of the basic functions of the Dictasonic Mic 2 classic dictation microphone. You can also follow the same steps to record and correct a dictation using the Dictasonic Mic 2. In addition to the features of the Dictasonic Mic 2 Classic, it also has pressure sensitive track point mouse control. This can be used to control the mouse pointer. The speed of the mouse pointer can be set independently of the PC mouse. You can also use track point to control any PC application in addition to Dictasoft. The Dictasonic Mic 2 also has two mouse buttons which can be operated with your index finger as well as an interface for a barcode reader or an RFID reader. Both dictation microphones are also suited to speech recognition applications and can be used to control the speech recognition software Dragon Naturally Speaking. Are you also interested in this topic? Then we can recommend our film on controlling speech recognition applications with a Sonic Mic 2. You can find this video on our website at www.grundig-gbs.com. Grundig Business Systems hopes you enjoy dictating.